Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, and as long as we're going backwards through the planets this time, what say we go ahead and go after Saturn, a different kind of car company? He kind of has the ultimate kid and play flat top going there. Okay, here we go. They start off by giving me lots of money. That's a good way to start anything. We have these strange gravity areas here, that's the main gimmick of the stage. Sometimes it's half gravity, sometimes it's double gravity. Those areas do affect anything within them, such as how power-ups fall and how Don Catch's rocks fall too. Now those things I was killing, they are called foolies. They flash the screen to slow time for you, and then they just drift overhead and drop bullets on you. While you're slowed, it's of course harder to dodge them. Pretty gem. Really, I could have gotten that gem using the Mega Hand, but I went to the trouble of getting the Deep Digger, so I'm gonna use the blasted thing. Give me money. This thing is called La Jabba. It's basically a self-propelled, springy, accordion thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the enemies really just get stranger and stranger as time goes on. I can't jump to hit that, so I'll have to dodge between the bullets like that. And as I wait for time to return to normal, I'll go ahead and grab that. And now it's time for Death Spikes in conjunction with the Strange Gravity. I think that's actually some kind of prerequisite test for the level designers over at the Capcom offices. When you apply for work there, you're given a written exam, and one of the questions is, This room has water physics. What do you do? And unless you answer, add 5,000 Death Spikes, they take you aside, tell you, I don't really think you're right for this company. Come back when you really know what you're doing. This thing is called Bios. Whoa! It's completely unaffected by gravity. It just tries to jump to hit you with its spike, and that one came awfully close. Now this is Boostun. You have to let that, uh, let its missile stay on stage long enough for you to get by. Yikes. That thing has been causing a lot of problems for me. There is a second one, but it's nowhere near as bad. In fact, he's right in here. And he so helpfully launches himself right up to where you can hit him. Oh, uh, more death spikes. Oh, and another one of these that I can't reach. But we won't let that stop us. In fact, we're almost at the boss. Okay, time to fight Saturn. Saturn has weird attacks. He can use his ring as a black hole to try and pull you in. He also likes to freeze time. And he's going to start with the pull-in move this time. Whoop. This isn't really a hard battle, you just really have to pay attention, is all. I love the weird things that your bullets do while getting affected by the black hole. Okay, if he does the time freeze, you want to make certain you are directly under him. That's the only way to dodge it. Because when he freezes time, he'll do that spastic circle of shots. And directly under him is the only safe area. Hey, he's wanting to do this a lot now. Okay, yeah, like I said, you just really have to pay attention in this battle is all. And there we go. Farewell, Saturn. Kit thinks you look stupid. 
I think you look gone. Alright. Time for another power, which I actually don't even remember what it's called. Let's find out together. Huh, not bad. You got Black Hole. Not to be confused with Galaxy Man's Black Hole Bomb. We also get the as, uh, the as ever nerfed Rush Jet. Every rare et er. Okay. Right. Three down, one to go. And also three gems, one to go. This stage. It wasn't too bad, but it had its share of problems. Do enjoy, won't we? Okay, this thing is troubling. This is called boost -un. You have to kind of lure it around. Oh, bugger. <sighs> Bloody hell! This guy is a bit... really annoying. Alright, boost done, rematch time. That... that sucked. Okay, here we go. Time to fight boost done again. Can I just sneak under you? Uh, no. Okay, that foolie is too high for me to hit, so I'll have to... uh, get hit. Wonderful. That was brilliant. So now they want to combine Strange Gravity with Death Spikes. Are we surprised? Okay, you can still jump that high. Oops. Okay, we're closing in on the gem. Oh. Uh, well. Okay, yeah, that failed on several levels. I really didn't have too many outtakes in this video, so let's have a little proof of concept of these Strange Gravity areas affecting Doncatch. Yeah, those rocks aren't supposed to fly like that. The high gravity area is also affected. <laughs> That's just pathetic. Time for a little more proof of concept. Yes, you can grab the gem from afar. So, Saturn's stage really wasn't all that bad in comparison to Uranus's stage. It was definitely a nice breather after that mess. It kind of compares to the first four stages in this game, actually. I give Saturn a 4 out of 10. The strange gravity areas in his stage can be a bit tricky to get past if you're not used to just barely tapping the jump button in some areas. The enemies, though, they really weren't that bad. The main enemy that really gave me any problem at all was that one boost gun that took me out a few times. Figuring out how to trick his AI and get past him, that was the main trick there. But it really wasn't that bad. Saturn himself is pretty easy if you know where to stand and how to uh, how to judge what he's gonna do. Learning where to stand during his time freeze, that is key. Beyond that, he's pretty simple. He follows the same general pattern of sliding across the room, so it's just keeping your distance, basically. Nothing really hard. So, 4 out of 10 for Saturn. With that, that's the end of this one. So, once more, I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, fare thee well.